Okay, so uh, we are joined by Keith Mills today. Uh, he's helping out in the ESCCast.com team. This year, uh, we're very happy to have him with us. First of all, I just want to say a few words. I, we went to Jerusalem yesterday. That was a really fantastic day. I, I highly recommend anybody that's coming to Israel to take the train over to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. It'll take you about an hour. Go for a wander around. The sites are all there and it's just an amazing experience. It was my first time in Jerusalem and I'm so glad I actually did that. So, first Keith. Time, so this well. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to be religious or anything. No, like absolutely, history, uh, ab history. absolutely not yeah. religious. I'm a complete atheist myself. Uh, my partner Daniel is a Catholic, so it was a good experience for both of us. Anyway, so moving on, Keith, welcome to Tel Aviv. Thank you very much. How's it been going so far? Very good. I'm amazed how smooth everything is. It's it's it's, it's terrific. I mean, it, considering you've got to remember that this is a new broadcaster. They didn't exist a couple of years ago. So to go from zero to this is just amazing. It really, really is. Um, Everything is where I'd expect it to be and, and better. Everything worked day one. Everything works. Um, the transport is good. It's a very easy city to get around. The weather has been an added bonus for those who like sunshine. Um, and um, I, I have nothing, I to, I have nothing to complain about. It's I hear so bad. I have nothing I, to complain I, about. I hear your, well, I have one thing to complain about. Your milky white calves yesterday. Oh, well, in fairness, though. No. Well, I'm working on my milky white calves now, I have to say. A little bit of sun and they'd be like... They'd be like a Queen Anne table of, of mahogany. They'd be fabulous. Well, the reason we went to Jerusalem yesterday was that either that or go onto the beach. And I think there was enough wobbly white flesh hanging around on my Facebook feed yesterday. So I think that better go into Jerusalem. Anyway, so we're on uh, second day, second run through of uh, first semi-final today. Uh, Andy, thoughts so far? Well, we just had with Cyprus, and uh, she looks. We have we have sound this time as well. Yeah, she sings things pretty well, I think. Yeah, uh -huh. um, it, she really bore some ideas from Ukraine and Maruf. Yeah, I think so. Uh, but you know, this one is uh, the, there are a few things that looks really good, but I think this is uh, a bit of underwhelming because we have kind of expected more uh, from uh, Cyprus and from a lot, quite a lot of acts which didn't deliver to the level we have been expecting from them. Yeah, for me, Cyprus, uh, I know I was quite critical of the outfits uh, last time we went through. We're hearing the vocal today for the first time. She's pretty on point. She's yeah. pretty okay. Everything kind of works together now that we're seeing the vocal th with it. Uh, I. I still am not a fan of what she is wearing. I still think it doesn't really suit her. She's a lady, she needs to put yeah, I, something, I, I, put something I, I, better on, I think. It's too slutty. And the way I've described it on social media after seeing a photograph of it, it it's a bit like a glitter nappy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not attractive. So now, she, on the other hand, we're hearing it. She sounds good. The movement is good. It's just a little too... It's like fuego light. It's yes. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we agree. Um, okay, Keith, we haven't really had a catch up with you so far. Uh, your highlights so far? In terms of the songs? In terms of the songs, in, in terms of the press, uh, yeah. everything. Okay. Really? Okay. In terms of the songs, Azerbaijan impressed me. Macedonia impressed me. Yeah, uh, Macedonia was very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's really all I've seen. I, 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 I was disappointed by the Dutch entry in terms of the way it came across Russia. on the screen. Russia, I didn't see. Okay. Uh, I have concerns about. Russia in that if you're going to have an intimate song a personal song having five images on stage is not eight. Really, oh sorry eight <laughs> is not a, is not a good idea in my opinion but I have to I have to see it and hear it so I'm, I'm that's a very early prejudgment okay. um, if you look at the betting odds there are ten songs away from the pack in this semi-final and so it's very easy to call who's going to qualify but I think there's one or two wild cards that could still come into play here okay. Andy, you want to say a few things about Russia? Uh, yes, again, Russia is again, we haven't seen much. There will be a lot of improvements, a lot of changes apparently. So they said you cannot base your opinion on what you've seen so far. So uh, I, I guess reserve my opinion for the second round. Okay. Uh, who's your favorite, who is favorite to win now? Uh, my favorite to win, I still think it's going to be a straight fight between the Russia and the Netherlands. Um, Azerbaijan's come up quite a lot. Uh, for who I would want to win, I still want Greece to win. I know, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's a terrific thing that Kiss will hate. Yes, it's yeah, Göteborg yeah, 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 yeah. next oh, year. Well, uh, <laughs> it's not going to be Sweden. We cannot have something that bland winning in Eurovision. Sweden by default. No, no, I don't. I don't accept that. I don't accept that. If what I want to win or what I think is a contest, even still, I think it's between the eyes. I think it's Italy or Iceland. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which was Italy and Iceland. Okay. So who are you looking forward to most today, Keith? Because 
you haven't seen much today? Oh, really oh let me have a look at what I'm really looking forward to today. Oh, it's a bit of rough groove. Um, ba, 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 ba. I want to see. I want to see Czech Republic because mm. what, you're, what, what I've heard you see on screen and what's what we've seen in photographs yeah. are very very different. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see Belarus. Belarus was actually surprisingly good. Mm-hmm. And well, same level I'd see was a Cyprus. Yeah, 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 okay, yes. and obviously I want to see Iceland. Younger and more energetic, so Belarus was quite good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And even though I can't stand the song, I want to see Australia. Okay. Yeah. yeah Australia has a good, really good pack. Yeah. We want to see Iceland if they do something because again they need some improvement to okay. win. Okay. Yes. Uh, and, and Georgia crossed. and Georgia was really amazing on the screens last time. Yeah. So okay, at least fingers crossed for Portugal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Portugal. <laughs> yeah, I, I, for me, I'm looking forward to Poland again because I've just fell in love with a little bit with those girls. So on that note, I think we will end. Keith, we're going to catch up with you a bit later on. And yeah, Andy, yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Okay, okay. thanks a lot. Yeah, let me see you a bit better. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.